All right, here's another example, and uh, as you can see, this they, you know, this is still a little bit more difficult than some of the stuff we were doing before. And the reason that I would say this is a little bit more difficult is because now we have multiple variables. So uh, we had multiple variables on the last one, but it's a little bit different. So uh, you can see we have e to the 2x power, and then here we have e to the x. It would be great if we could just, you know, factor out an x from those, but we can't because they're in our exponents. And then uh, you can also see that right now uh, we can't add these together because they're not like bases. So we need to come up with another option. And what we are, are actually going to do in a problem like this is we're going to say this is what we like to call quadratic in form. And the reason it's quadratic in form is because, well, let me rewrite it just a little bit. So I'll say e to the x squared minus 4 e to the x plus 3. So what we're basically looking at is, you know what, if we kind of said, let me make my eraser bigger, you know, if I said this to the second power, and this to the first power, and then this right here is just a constant, then that makes it look real quadratic. So, you know, looking at a quadratic form, we could say x squared minus 4x plus 3. So it looks pretty similar to that. We have an exponent of 2 here, this is linear, and this has a degree of 1. So uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to treat it just like a quadratic. Now normally when we factor something like this, we say, okay, x here and x here, two numbers that will multiply to give me this, they'll add to give me that. And it's going to be pretty similar to that. In fact, with a constant, I'll do the same thing. Two things that will multiply to give me a positive 3, that will add to give me a negative 4. So negative 1 and negative 3 should do the trick. And just now, instead of putting an x here and an x here, I need them to multiply to give me e to the x squared and to be like terms so that they add to give me e to the x. Well, whenever you're doing this, when you factor it, just like here, the, the middle term is x, so we use x and x. Here, the middle term is e to the x. So they have to be the same, that middle term and the two things we're going to use. Now, once we get to here, what we're going to do is just like we always have, it's the product of these two things is 0. So we're going to set both of those equal to 0. So I'm just going to solve it. So I'll say e to the x is equal to 1. e to the x is equal to 3. To get rid of the uh, nice little e, I'll use the natural log, because that's the inverse of the natural base. This will cancel and leave me x is equal to the natural log of 1 over here, it will cancel and leaves me the natural log of 3. Now, uh, some of this stuff should be pretty basic. I can tell you what this is, but we'll go ahead and use our calculator. The natural log of 1. Alright, so natural log of 1, of course, e to what power will give us 1? And that's 0, so we'll put a nice little 0. But then the other one's not going to be so friendly. So we'll type in the natural log of 3. As you can see, we get 1 decimal zero nine nine. So there are two solutions when we actually get them. Now, a couple things. Uh, you could actually use the quadratic formula. So if you uh, couldn't factor it or something like that, we could actually use the quadratic formula. It's just, you know, we have, of course, let's see if I have some room, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Nice little quadratic formula there. It's just normally put equals x. Well now we have to say equals e to the x power. So you could still use the quadratic formula if you didn't know how to factor. Uh, the only other thing that you need to know is sometimes uh, if we were to get a negative number for either of these we could not actually get the answer. Because if you were to type in say if this were instead of the natural log of 3 if you do the natural log of negative 3, it's going to say non-real answer. So again, that will kind of lead us into some problems later where we have extraneous solutions. So hopefully, normally you'd get two solutions to a problem like this. But uh, yeah, if, you're taking, if you end up with a negative number, then you won't be able to take the natural log or log of it.